Here is an example of a CVE that you find on Linux workloads. The CVE is present in gzip utilities. Let's navigate to Cisco Secure Workload Console. You are seeing an onboarded application invoice app. This app has seven workloads that form this application. Some of these run core application logic, others run database nodes, and then we have a couple of HA proxies in between them. Each of these workloads runs CentOS image as base operating system. Let's navigate to workload profile now. Here we see the list of CVEs or vulnerabilities that are being reported for this workload. We see that the CVE number 2022-1271 is also present on this workload. This CVE has a CVSS score of 8.8 .8 and attack vector of network. That means this can be exploited over network. Let's navigate to FMC connector now. On your screen, you see that we have a virtual patching rule. This virtual patching rule allows us to define the list of workloads that we want to protect. So we want to protect invoice app, then a CVE filter where we define the set of CVEs that we want to virtual patch. So we defined a criteria based on CVSS score and uh, attack vector. So CVE 1271 is now also getting published to firewall management center. So now I'm on the firewall management center. Here under third party vulnerabilities, you are seeing secure workload is publishing a list of workload to CVE mappings. We navigate to IPS policies now. Under this, we have a base policy with a predefined set of snort rules activated. We have 9,159 signatures with block action and other 472 with alert action. Let's search for a snort signature for the specific CVE that we are interested in. And we see there is indeed a snort signature present. However, it's currently disabled. Now, FMC has in its database uh, the information about the CVE and what he, what particular workload this CVE is present on. So we'll run Firepower recommendations here on the specific subnets where uh, the invoice app workloads are deployed. So there are four set of subnets. So we select those subnets and run the Firepower recommendations. As an outcome of this, what we expect is that snort signature should be activated and that is exactly what we see here. The snort signature for the particular CVE that we were uh, interested in is now activated with the block action. 